Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the receptors involved in pharmacodynamics. Basically, pharmacodynamics is defined as the study of the effects of drug on our body. The four categories of receptors for drug action on mammalian cells include ligand gated ion channel, G protein coupled receptor, kinase linked or enzyme linked receptor, and nuclear or intracellular receptor. The first three receptors are located on the membrane, however, the nuclear receptor is located inside the cell. The functions of these receptors are transmitting cellular signal once activated by ligand. Let's look at the first receptor which is ligand gated ion channel. There is a ligand binding site on the outer portion of the receptor. The channel will be opened once there is a suitable ligand bind to this site. The opening of channel allows either hyperpolarization or depolarization to occur. The channel will open for a few milliseconds. The examples of this receptor are nicotinic acetylcholine receptor and GABA receptor. Next. G protein coupled receptor or GPCR in short. This receptor consists of membrane receptor and G protein which comprises seven transmembrane alpha helices. The alpha, beta and gamma subunits are attached to the G protein. When a ligand binds to the receptor, the GTP displaces the GDP which is binding to the alpha subunit. Alpha subunit is dissociated from the receptor and beta. Gamma subunits. The alpha subunit together with GTP interacts with the target protein and elicits cellular response. Sometimes, the activated protein produces second messenger that further the other proteins, and this is known as signal cascade effect. The response can last for a few seconds. The examples include muscarinic acetylcholine receptor. The kinase linked or membrane linked receptor consists of two parts extracellular receptor domain and intracellular kinase domain. The binding of ligand to the receptor causes conformational change and activation of kinase which phosphorylate the tyrosine. The phosphorylated tyrosine kinase the other proteins such as insulin, growth factor and cytokine receptors. The cellular signal is activated from here. The response can last for a few hours. Nuclear receptor is also known as intracellular receptor and transcription factor. Remember, it is located inside the cell unlike the three receptors we've discussed. Therefore, the ligand must cross the cell membrane in order to activate the receptor. The activated receptor migrates to the nuclear compartment of the cell. This complex alters the gene transcription in the nucleus and proteins which are responsible for cellular response are synthesized. The response can last for a few hours and this receptor are generally related to steroids such as glucocorticoid, mineralocorticoid, androgen, progesterone and so on. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again.